Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you find these sessions useful and subscribe to the channel. In today's quick video, I'm here to show you how to change the passphrase from your Microsoft Azure backup console. Now for testing this, what I've done is I have this machine which is running on-prem. I have uh, installed the Mars agent on this machine and I've already done a small initial backup just to test this out. And as we all know that as part of the installation, we need to generate a passphrase. And this backup has been done because we need to register our recovery service vault and this client machine. So I have already done one backup by using passphrase. Now in case you need to change the passphrase in case it is compromised, what you need to do. So you are on the console of your Microsoft Azure backup. You will go to change properties. And under the encryption, you can go and check this box of change uh, passphrase. You can either generate a new one for yourself, or you can just click on this generate passphrase, which will be generated by the console for you. And then obviously Microsoft doesn't uh, save this passphrase. So make sure that you have saved this in a secure location. So I'm gonna do that. Click on okay. And now it is asking me for the security pin. So now this is another added layer of security so that in case somebody gets into your computer, if they're trying to change the passphrase, they are not able to do so. In case they need to uh, do that as an admin, you need to do what you need to do is you need to go to the Azure console under the recovery service vault. You go to properties. And here, under the security pin, you need to generate this. So you click on generate and it says that it will be expired in five minutes. So this secure pin is only available for five minutes. So as I said that that's an added layer of security. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and paste this in the location and click on OK. So it's saving on the machine. It says that it was updated successfully. Click on OK. And I have now changed the passphrase on this machine uh, by using the secured key that I generated from the Azure Management Console. But let me just check. I have changed the passphrase. Now, what happens to the, the data which I've already backed up? So let me see that if I am able, still able to recover my data. So as I said that, I've already run a small backup. So let me just try to test by recovering the data. Actually, before I do that, let me just delete something, right? Because I know what I backed up. So what I'm going to do is just minimize this. And I have this folder with the name test. I'm just going to delete because that is what is there in my, I'm also going to remove this from my recycle bin just to test this out and go back to the console. And here I'm going to click on recover data. So yes, I want to recover to this server. Go to next and what do you want to recover individual files and folder volume system state so let me just go and click on volume here go next select the volume okay for it is asking me select the date of the backup to use this recovery I only have one so i will pick that i want to recover this to the original location and it will restore all the uh, accounts for this me on, on which I have on the folder and I will click on recover so let's just give it a moment for this to restore and hopefully it will be successful. So it says that file recovery was successful and you see that I have the folder back. And if I go, I have some text document in this one and that was also restored. So this was a quick video on how to change the passphrase by using the security key and still be able to restore from the uh, backup points that we had uh, in our system. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, have a good day.